Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another Wax Party Break. This is Jaspie's 27 box playoffs football mixer. 27 boxes, this includes mini helmets and a lot of other nice boxes here as well. Very big thanks to this group for getting into it. Thanks to the people who uh, bought their spots straight up. I appreciate that. And congrats again to the winners of spots. All 32 football teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams one and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. We got Stephen Flat down to Adam Coverman. All right, one and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we've got the Ravens down to the Falcons. Little bird team mojo on the top and bottom. All right, Steven with the Ravens. Peter with the Colts. Jesse with the Buccaneers. Frank with the Cowboys. Brian Frank with the Fly Eagles Fly. John with the Bills. Dayton with the Broncos. Kenneth with the Bengals. Brody, you got my Raiders. Brian with the Rams. Dean with the Jaguars. Allen with the Lions. James with the Steelers. Steven with the Jets. Joseph with the Texans. Nico with the Packers. Ryan with the Panthers. Richard with the Washington football team. Will with the Niners. Bill with the Vikings. Steve Wright with the Chargers. Tim, you got the Saints. Kurt with the Bears. Matt with the Dolphins. Tony with the Chiefs. Joseph with the Titans. Bernard with the Browns. Tony with the Giants. Ethan with the Seahawks. Franklin with the Cardinals. Asa, Last Bot Mojo, Patriots. And Adam with the ATL. So we'll keep the video running as Nick is popping open some boxes there. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's show the Washington football team right there. And uh, feel free to trade if you'd like. Josh, do you know if Spectra Basketball is on card RPAs? Do you, do you remember off that? I think so. Spectra Basketball? Yeah, Spectra Basketball. Yeah. I think it's like the insert autos, like the Radiant Rookies or something like that. Those might be stickers, but I think the true RPAs the, should be on card. The photo, the Lamello is like. Yeah. And obviously you can check our previous videos too to get an idea. All right, let me know if there's any trades. Let's see if we can brighten up the, the top camera a little bit here. Yeah, I think it's a little more clarity on the cards up there on the cart. Uh, Frank saying, I'm willing to entertain offers for Cowboys and Cardinals. Now just caution, remember the different years. Looks like you got 2021, 2018, 2020. 2021, 2016, 2012, 16, 18, 21, and 20. So mostly 20 and 21, but some older boxes mixed in there as well. And then obviously the mini helmets don't have a checklist. Who knows what they could do? That could be anything. Yeah, those, those reads, yeah, I have in the previous mixer. They come in those little mini boxes. Isn't that auto? I've never seen that I've before. never seen that before either. This is like a different retail set, right? It's a Mega. No, see, Megas have packs. Oh, they, they call this a Mega too? Yeah. That's why I'm so confused. It's a Mega box, but there's no packs. But I think it's, is it retail exclusive Mega? No, it's like or a is Target. It a true mega? It's like this would be sold at Target, this box. Hmm. I guess they repackage it. higher end one, I guess. Crazy. Broncos for Cowboys, maybe? Does that move the needle for you, Frank? Otherwise, we may just continue on. We've got uh, Timberwolves at Knicks on the background. Timberwolves up 30 to 23. Is Anthony Edwards playing? Yes. 
this year's. Uh huh. I'd rather stay with the Cowboys on that one. All right. No worries. Let's close up the trade window and let's get the break going. I think Nick has some. Yeah, Nick has some stuff ready for us. So let's print and rip. So we've got some prism, whatever this edition of prism is. Hanger box, whatever was on the side. Then we've got, what is this? Some old, some sage right here, the premier draft. We've got some mosaic. We've got some optic, John optic. Some kid reporter cards, and then some uh, absolute. And here is the final printout right here. Oh, I always like I always like this info, Josh. I pulled that Lamelo downtown. For you off a two hundred dollar random team graded for six graded for six hundred sold PSA nine seventy five hundred PSA nine Lamelo downtown seven thousand five hundred dollars that's awesome that's a good that's a good return all right big thanks everybody here list remains the same <laughs> better better returns in the the stock market Nick man. No one likes growth tech stocks, I guess, Nick. Those will be fine in the long run. They need the Jaspies IPO to hit. I know, seriously. There's Quinn uh, Mineris, offensive lineman. Everyone know where he goes, of course. I saw on Instagram, me in front of the bowl this past year. Yeah. It said Jaspies IPO, and a lot of people like took it seriously. What? They were like, what a joke, and then... Some were like, oh, I'm so in. When does it happen? <laughs> Dean Sullivan with the Jaguars. I saw the. I, my dad in front of the I, I saw. I saw the post. I didn't really. I didn't like read the comments. Yeah, though. there was like 20 comments. Wow. WTF? Is this actually happening? People thought that like a small business was actually going to IPO. Yeah. I mean, unless we, unless like we were. Bought by Amazon and then flipped into a, its own little company and then get her own SPAC and then turn into. Philippe Franks. Cameron Sample. Obviously, we'll make sure these go to their, their, their current teams or whatever's on the checklist. KJ Costello. There's Andre Mincy, linebacker. You know where Trevor Lawrence goes. It's kind of the guy. Ah, nice. This is what we're looking for. Trevor Lawrence, hand number 22 out of 100. T-Law autograph out of Sage. Jaguars, Dean Sullivan bought a spot straight up. Full price spot. Got randomized the Jaguars. Ends up with a Trevor Lawrence autograph. First of many, I hope, in the mixer. It's a good start. Gets a new coach next year. Hopefully some, some good stability on that team next year. Hopefully uh, his friend, Travis Etienne, Will be healthy, so that's already another weapon they're adding. It's almost like a, a an extra draft pick because they never got to see him this year. So, Terrace Marshall Jr. So that could be that could be good signs for T. Law. Kelvin Joseph, next level, hand number three out of ten. <laughs> yeah, Sage is kind of like that. It's sort of like. Random defensive tackles, and then boom, they'll hit you with like a, a big name. You're like, oh, I guess this is why this is why we're doing these. There's Zach Wilson. I think that's just a sketch. 
or reproduction that is, but I'll go to the Jets, Stephen Flat. This is Trey McKitty, Justin Fields, Terrace Marshall Jr. again. And if you're just joining us, we will do an autograph recap or a hit recap at, at the end of this, plus any of these notable players that we've we've saved and set aside. It's a nice Kadarius Tony. That's not bad. That'll be for the New York Football Giants, Tony Barkey. Kadarius Tony might also benefit from uh, new coaching. No Joe, Joe Judge there anymore, so well, they're going to figure some things out, they hope. There's Demetric Felton for Cleveland. There's Riley Lees, Mac Jones rookie card, Zach Wilson rookie card, Kyle Granson, Zach Wilson, and C.V. Scott. All right, so that was your Sage box. Draft needs for the Raiders and Eagles. Draft needs for the Eagles. Linebacker, edge rushers, wide receiver. Maybe a wide receiver. Yeah, maybe like a mid-round wide receiver that'll emerge. Like a second round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, third round, maybe, yeah. I think Raiders' needs are kind of similar, too. I think Raiders just always want to improve their defense. You know, so I think they're going to look for some more secondary help, more linebacking help. You can always use pass rushers. So I think they're going to kind of keep refreshing that the squad that way. They do need, like, a big play wide receiver. I guess Eagles need more. Devonta Smith stretches the field, so Eagles need more of a Hunter Renfro type would be great. Yeah, right? that'd be awesome. slot receiver. Yeah, a slot receiver. Raiders need the opposite. Raiders need to find like a Devonta Smith type player to stretch the field a little bit. Maybe some offensive line help, although they may go with experience on that and try, try to find that in free agent market. Maybe maybe another running back. I think they were counting on Kenyon Drake and Jalen Richard was out for a lot of the season, so they may need someone just to help, you know, give Josh Jacobs a rest every once in a while. So but the Raiders might be in on who knows, they might be in on if if Russell Wilson or or Aaron Rodgers looks like they're gonna be Available, made available. You know, I could see there's another Tua right here for the Dolphins, Matt Buckler. I could see the Raiders going chasing after one of those type of quarterbacks via trade, and that could that could change the the draft needs dramatically, or how they view their off season dramatically. Some more box here. We got some optic. We got some uh, oh, some SP authentic. All right, some SPA. Looks like a choice box, something like that. Team all box. Zenith. Zenith. We'll save those towards the end. Plates and patches. Plates and patches. Origins. Origins. We'll save towards the end. SPA. More SPA. SPA. More SPA, we'll keep that up. We'll do those first. Oh, you just saw Boom Hair on there. Chronic Draft, let's get that out of the way early too. Ooh, I like Contenders Retail. We'll save that for up there. There's more Contenders Retail? Yeah. Okay, so this is all Contenders Retail up there. Let's see more boxes appearing right over here. All right, onwards. There's seven out of 15. Um, 
Remember, no vet common ship in this. So this will go to whatever team they're on in the checklist here. We'll, we'll look all those up. So this is 2012. So whatever they, whatever team they're on in the 2012 checklist. Black and white Drew Brees. No, Dangerous saying there'll be no talk of, Dan of Russell Wilson playing for other teams other than the Seahawks. Hey, I mean, he might end up staying. I don't think anyone really knows. So it should be a pretty interesting offseason. A lot of coaching hires are going to have to happen. And here's a rookie auto patch, Dan Heron again, 329 out of 885. So I guess it's worth looking up now that we've pulled a couple of these. Dan Heron? Dan Heron? Bangles? Bangles. In 2012, you sure? Yeah. Colts. Bangles in 2012. Got it. So those will go to Kenneth on Cincinnati. No, I'm good at this game. Let's keep going. Keep going? Yeah. All right. 2012, I think I, I got a decent. Okay, what about Kreiner? <laughs> Raiders, right? Really? Jerron Kreiner? Yeah, Jerron Kreiner? Yeah, I think he's Raiders. Oh. One of uh, your fabulous Oakland Raiders. Oh, no, cool. Those, those stone hands. <laughs> like Blazing that. speed and stone hands. Like Darius Hayward Bay. You know, those are some great draft picks. Darius we, Hayward Bay. Ooh, we got Archie Griffin, Stadium Authentics. That's cool. I don't know if he ever played. Did he ever play in the NFL? I forget. I feel like he was one of the, he like won two like Heismans. He won a couple Heismans and, and then, then uh, didn't, get didn't get drafted. It's like one of those odd players. No, Bengals, actually. Huh. Yeah, but not you played from seventy six to eighty two, not what, too not too what long. Round? First round. Pick twenty four in the they mid the mid seventies. Yeah. Sell right. You kinda had to, right? So there's another Bengal. Like two time Heisman trophy winner in Ohio State and then he falls to the Bengals, like you're like, Well, we have to take him. Right, yeah, he did go by Boom Heron. I remember that. He got got the B in the autograph too. Oh, look at that! There's Case Keenum. He is he is Case Keenum still in the league? Bobby yeah, Wagner. He played a few games for the Browns this year. Oh, he started. What about Ladarius Green? Chargers. Are you serious? No, I think so. I don't know though. Tight end? Uh, yeah, number eighty-nine looks it's, it looks like a tight end number. Look him up. Look him up. Did you mean Lady Gaga? No. Chargers, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. 2012 to 2015. So this will go to the Bolts. That'll be for Steve Wright and the Chargers. He caught like three touchdowns of it. Or four touchdowns. He has eight receiving touchdowns in his career. Huh. It's pretty close. 95 receptions in his three-year career. I think he had a kind of a decent season in 2015. Yeah, he would vulture from like Hunter Henry. Or right, like, uh, and then the Steelers signed, this is what I remember, Steelers signed to a four-year $20 million deal. Oh, wow. 
and then he was out of football yeah. after after that in 2017. All right. Oh, right. Uh, let's see if we can get Nick to guess one more. I think there should be another hidden here somewhere. We might be out of hits, yeah. I'm fine with ending off on Ladarius Green. That was pretty good. What about Nick Toon? Remember Nick Toon? I do remember Nick Toon. What about Jarrett Lee? Where did he go? I don't know that one. Brand, there's Brandon Whedon. He was like 28 when he got drafted. Who? Brandon Whedon. Oh, Brandon Whedon. That's He's right. Like 28 or 29 or something. What about this guy, Alfred Morris? Washington, Redskins, maybe? Yeah. Mark, what about Mark Tyler? I don't know. Mark USC, Brown. what about Travis Benjamin? Brown? Brown, yeah. Good. He might be still in the league, actually. Travis Benjamin? Is Travis Benjamin still in the league? I bet he is. Just as like a backup wide receiver somewhere? All right, so big thanks to Nick for uh, pack stacking for us. That will certainly help the break go by a little more quickly, which we like. All right, so let's start working through more of these boxes here. We got full coverage. Uh, Seth Williams. I don't remember where Seth Williams goes, but that'll we'll make sure we look that up, and that goes to the to wherever he goes to on this checklist for uh, 2021 Chronicles. Kyle Pitts gold. It's 9 out of 10. Nice one for uh, Adam and the Falcons. Kyle Pitts, I mean, I feel like he would have gotten a little more attention if the Falcons were a little bit better this season, but he had a great season. And we got 19 out of 40. Nice. In flight, on card autograph, Justin Fields. He's going to have a new coach too. So hopefully his potential will be unlocked. That is for Kurt and the Bears. There you go, Kurt. And we got a full coverage. Michael Carter for the Jets, 9 out of 10. That'll be Stephen Flat got randomized. The Jets, more Justin Fields, Zach Wilson. Got Jarrett Patterson autograph, 13 out of 99. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty nice box. Got a Mac Jones here. And we got a Demetric Felton. Two color jersey and autograph, Origins jersey and autograph uh, for the Browns. That'll be for Bernard, the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. We got a Devonta Smith, 32 out of 49 for the Fly Eagles Fly. It'll be for Brian. Got a Trey Lance select card. We got a Javante Williams to 149 for Denver, I believe. Got a Spectra Zach Wilson and a rated rookie Mac Jones. Nice, not a bad box. Dig it.
All right, let's slide some optic. Front and center, Jerry Judy, Mackay Becton. Got a Joe Namath, Retro Series, a Jake Luton, Red Mojo. Not numbered, Denzel Mims. Taysom Hill Silver. Devin Duvernay rated rookie. Tom Brady, Joe Burrow rated rookie. There we go, that's what we're looking for. That'll be for Kenneth in Cincinnati. Great season for Joe Burrow. It's not over yet. Let's get some prism, I think hanger box maybe. Jalen Hurts, T. Higgins. Uh, Brian Frank with the Eagles will get that Jalen Hurts, black and white. Brett, what's up? Who do you want as the next Raiders coach? It's a very good question. I think Mark Mark Delara, I think, was saying earlier that, that Jim Harbaugh seems to be, at least according to Vegas, one of the favorites. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Jim Harbaugh who's proven it on the in the pro level, at the college level, and I think he can do it at the pro level again. So I'd like to see that. Otherwise, I don't know. Why not just keep... Why not just keep the interim head coach? I know that there's been, I saw some rumors on NFL Network about maybe the the New England linebackers coach being considered as a head coach. If you're going to do that, I would just go with what we had before. I don't know, I'd like to see, I know, I know it really doesn't, really doesn't mean anything one way or the other, but I'd like to see a little more, uh, a little more experience, you know, instead of like a, a fresh face. Just my opinion. Real time, Joe, do you remember the late night when you pulled one touched when you pulled one touch Panisio the honors blue optic rookie one of one Mahomes? Have I heard anything about it? I vaguely remember that. I don't know anything about it. I haven't heard if it's like sold for a million dollars or not. Eric, see, gift cards bought in store should work when buying a spot in a break, right? If it was if it was purchased in the shop, no. Shop gift cards are only for in the store. And then jazbeescasebreaks.com gift cards purchased through the website only are for here. And then the there's a separate one for the Instagram side. And we've got Emmanuel Ogba. Cleveland, this is for you. No worries, Eric. I don't know if it was May, whoever the, I, I didn't catch the name, but whoever whoever that linebackers coach is, and I think they were trying to get someone else, they were trying to get someone else in the front office to, to come back along as well. There's Brandon Allen for the Jaguars, Dean. But yeah, but at that point, I'd rather have like a little, little more, a little more experience instead of going with a fresh face and then maybe Maybe end up making another change again and seen enough coaching changes. Let's 
Kenyon Drake for the Dolphins. That'll be for Matt. So I'd like to see that aspect of the Raiders franchise kind of, you know, solidified a little bit. Next. Right, let's see, see what's over here. Maybe someone a little bit younger than Tom Coughlin. Not that much experience. Asa with that Tom Brady. This is Contenders Retail, so we're not going to... Autographs might be a little bit fewer and far between. <laughs> a little too much experience, Frank. I want someone... Uh, I want someone who could develop maybe like a, a ten year plan for the for the Raiders and see it through. You think Carr's gone? If it's not Harbaugh or Basaccia? I think I think if if the coach is not it is, I, I would almost think the opposite. If Harbaugh does come in for the Raiders, I feel like then Derek Carr is gone. Any other coach, I feel like Derek Carr you know, lasts a little bit longer. Maybe he gets a short extension or something like that. If it's Harbaugh, maybe Carr might be gone. If it's Basaccia, Carr probably stays. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a wild off season for the uh, for the Raiders. Crossroads. Nothing too crazy in that contenders retail. Maybe get Adam Gase. You can win with any QB out there. If that QB is Peyton Manning. I don't know, maybe Adam Gase could be an interesting offensive coordinator. Sean Watson, there's Drew Pearson to 49. 
And we got a triple relic here. Team Summit, 49 out of 50. Jerome Bettis, Heinz Ward, and Big Ben. The good old days. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, James with Pittsburgh. We have Clyde Edwards Hilaire, 61 out of 99, jersey and autograph. Still a lot of opportunities for Clyde Edwards Hilaire to make a name for himself. Chiefs, Tony. Got a Patrick Queen autograph. Nice, five out of 25 for the Ravens. That'll be for Stephen Flat. Brandon Nyack, rookie card. Plates and patches. Out of 99, Drew Brees. We got uh, 16 out of 50. Daily Show. Jonathan Stewart. Quarterback. Lamar Jackson. Nice. Nice patch. Wish there was an auto. That's uh, 33 out of 99. Supreme swatches for Stephen Flat and the Ravens. Look at this. Here's a nice out of 10. Check that out of 20 autograph. Kareem Hunt. Leaps and bounds. It's a good photo right there. Good photography there. Chiefs. That'll be for Tony. If Carr leaves the Raiders, does he continue to play? Mike Tower? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, th I mean, he's an above average quarterback. So, yeah, a lot of teams looking for, for quarterbacks. A lot of people will take a Derek Carr. Yeah, Steelers are taken for sure. I mean, he had a pretty good season. It's not, I think he had over 4,000 yards this year. It doesn't. It would be kind of crazy to think that he wouldn't get a starting job elsewhere if he leaves. Corey Davis, Joseph, and the Titans. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I mean, I could run down the list of teams that would take a Derek Carr over. Carolina would take Derek Carr to start over, over what they have. I mean, let's take a look at the standings here. Dolphins might take a, a Derek Carr. Jets would want a Derek Carr. Zach Wilson can just marinate a little bit. Steelers would take a Derek Carr. Um, Houston Texans would, would take a Derek Carr. Denver would take a Derek Carr. I don't think they'll trade in division. Um, yeah, it's not like he's like a old, worn-out quarterback, Mike Tower. But he'd, he'd definitely play. You don't think the Eagles would want a Derek Carr? You know, would Minnesota take a Derek Carr? Sure. Lions would take a Derek Carr. Saints would take a Derek Carr. Carolina would take a Derek Carr. Giants, New York football Giants would take a Derek Carr. Yeah, a lot of people, Mike Tower. I think you're really underrating, really underrating Derek Carr. Four out of 49. Yeah, Washington football team would take a Derek Carr. Really, really underrating uh, Derek Carr. All right, Origin, Jameson Crowder, Javante Williams, and a Pat Fryermuth. Origins Relic, 7 out of 99. James with the Steelers. We got Kadarius Tony, nice on-card autograph, 2 out of 49 for the New York Football Giants, Tony Barkey. Staying in New York with Elijah Moore. Three color patch and autograph. 31 out of 99. Stephen Flat with the Jets.
What would the best fit for him be if he left if he left the Raiders? Well, he's on an expiring deal. So I don't know. The best fit, I bet a lot of teams could probably fit Derek Carr into their you know, into their team and have some success. All right, nice. So those are the cards. We'll do a recap at the end. Mini helmet time. So remember, there's no checklist on the mini helmet. So if it's uh, if it's their college helmet, it'll go to the team they're currently on if they're active. If they're not active, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. All right, these these are pretty obvious right here. If we pull those. All right. Put your thinking caps on. We'll do some light a lightning round of who am I. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who am I? Played linebacker for the Packers and Redskins during my 12-year career. Voted to the 1960s All-Decade Team by members of the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. An All-American for Penn State in 1962 and a Pro Football Hall of Famer in 2013. Who am I? I have an old school guy. I'm not sure if do I have any uh, other information for him. Still with us, 80 years old. Was a first round pick in the NFL draft, third round pick in the AFL draft. Uh, three time NFL champion, two time Super Bowl champion, three time Pro Bowler, 60s All Decade team. What is he doing these days after his career? Worked in the offseason as an engineer at the Campbell Soup in Camden, New Jersey. Then for Schlitz Brewery in Milwaukee. Started, started his own beer distributorship in Akron, Ohio until semi-retiring in the early 2000s. Board of Directors for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He and uh, this player and Royce Boyles co-authored the Lombardi Legacy, 30 people who were touched by greatness. Doing some writing. Etc. Etc. It's uh, it's old Dave Robinson. I don't know how many how many of you remember Dave Robinson. You might be kind of revealing your age a little bit, but there he is, TriStar sticker. There's Dave Robinson, his number, Hall of Fame inscription as well. That goes to Nico and the Packers. Next helmet, thinking caps on, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll see an active player here. I like seeing more active players in this. I do like the game show cards that TriStar gives you. All right, no, another old school guy. Who am I? Your 1967 NFL interception leader. Your 1967 defensive rookie of the year. Seven-time Pro Bowler, seven-time All-Pro, four-time All-NFL NFC, and earned a music gold record singing background on Marvin Gaye's What's Going On in 1971. Pro Football Hall of Fame in the early 90s. Who am I? Uh, yeah, Mike Tower and Mark got it. Yeah, Lem Barney. There he is for the Lions. 
You got the TriStar authentication sticker here. The card must be, yeah, there's the card right there. And Mark Delara had to Google it. Mike Tower, did you Google it? There it is. Got a gold record, too. How many, how many, oh, that's Alan Murdoch and the Lions. How many, uh, how many pro football Hall of Famers do you think have gold records? Might just be one. All right, next box. All right. Um, oh, this, this, I think this, this should be pretty easy. Um, I guess this will go to the team that. Well, no, I don't think he had an NFL team. I don't think the Super Bowl shuffle uh, got a gold record. Yeah, so th I think this this will be randomized to the group because this person does not have an NFL team attached to him. That should start to give it away. Uh, a 1993 Heisman Trophy Award winner, a consensus All-American Orange Bowl National Champion, two-time ACC Athlete of the Year. Uh, in 93, drafted by the Brewers in 93, Yankees in 94, and then ended up being a first-round pick with the New York Knicks and helped, the, helped lead the Knicks to the 1999 NBA Finals College Football Hall of Fame 2006. Yeah, Charlie Ward, Adams got it, yeah. So it's in his Florida State helmet. There he is. Yeah, how many Heisman Trophy winners played basketball instead? Ended up being a first round pick. He was, a, he was pretty decent too. Carved out a pretty nice career, 94 to 2005. So we'll randomize this to one person in the break. That dice roll at the end. Same dice roll as the um, as the uh, wax party. All right, next. We've got a four-time. This is a uh, coach. Four-time AFC champion, a two-time CFL champion. Your 1988 Sporting News NFL Coach of the Year, part of the 1990s All-Decade Team, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer in 2001. Who am I? 90s coach with four AFC championships. That's right, Adam. Marv Levy. Buffalo! That goes to John and the Buffalo Bills. Nice. There's his autograph right here. Nice. These helmets look pretty cool, too. John has the Buffalo Bills. All right, we've got a Super Bowl XXIX champion. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. In in that's a Roman room. I don't know what it is in. I guess what do we call our numbers? Arabic numbers. Six-time Pro Bowler, four-time First Team All Pro. Uh, my number fifty-seven retired by this team, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer. Who am I? Not not enough information on this game show card. It's twenty-nine. Says Frank, thank you. Uh, what else? I led the team's dome patrol linebacker corps. 
Dome Patrol. Only played for two teams my entire career. Six-time Pro Bowler. Four-time NFL Forced Fumbles Leader. A career 1,173 tackles, 128 sacks, eight interceptions. Now, there wasn't supposed to be math in this break. Wow, on my retirement following the 1995 season, I held the following NFL records. Second, most opponents' fumbles recovered. Third, most sacks, 128. Tied for third, most opponents' fumbles recovered in a season, seven. It's crazy. He's pretty good. Not Romanowski. It is. He was uh, went to College of Pittsburgh, drafted in 1981, round two, pick number 51. It's Ricky Jackson. Ricky Jackson. Pretty good. That's for Tim and the Saints. Saints edition played for the Niners for a couple seasons as well, Uh, I am a former Eagles QB and a popular NFL analyst. As a 1980 NFC Player of the Year, a 1980 Pro Bowler, and part of this team's Hall of Fame. Who am I? That's, a, that's an easy one. Easy one. Not Vic. Vic was not a 1980 Pro Bowler, Kevin, or 1980 NFC Player of the Year. There you go, Patrick. Jaws. Ron Jaworski. That goes to Brian Frank and the Eagles. Yeah, Adam got it too, Jaws. Nice. I like the old school Eagles colors there. A nice bold autograph there. I like that. All right, there you go, Brian, with the Fly Eagles Fly. All right, four more to go, and then some randomizing. This one is wrapped in some paper here. Who do we have here? Is it a college helmet? Is it a randomizer? Played collegiate football at Princeton from 1949 to 1951. Third all-time in Princeton history with 4,000 yards of offense and 55 touchdowns. A 1951 Heisman Trophy Award winner. Last Heisman Trophy winner to play for an Ivy League institution. They have not produced one since. And I don't think he's associated with an NFL team, so this will be another randomizer. So the Charlie Ward will go to the name on top. Second name will get this, this character here. Kevin's going to venture again. Not YA Tittle. I don't know how many people are going to get this. <laughs> Patrick, a little before your time. Later on, later in life, he served as director of the American Red Cross, director of the Ladies Professional Golfers also, LPGA, trustee of Princeton. He was a Knight Foundation on inter uh, Intercollegiate Athletics, chairman on the President's Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition under Reagan and HW. President of the NFL Foundation and Hall of Fame. NCAA gave him its Silver Anniversary Award. He also received the NFL Foundation Distinguished American Award. 2007, during a Mao Mi football game against Perrysburg. 
I was honored by having my jersey number retired, donated my Heisman Trophy to that high school. Uh, maybe it was a high school game. His daughter was an All-Ivy member of the Princeton's women's ice hockey team. Passed away in 1990 at the age of 28 from a rare blood disease. Um, and then he's got a foundation for her and all that. The Patty Kazmaier Award. It's this dick. Dick Kazmaier. Look at that Heisman sticker right there. It looks pretty cool. And uh, he passed away in 2013 at 82 years old in Boston. All right, so that'll be the second name down on the randomizer. That'll be two on the randomizer. The Charlie Ward will be one on the randomizer. The list of names. All right, three more to go. Have we have we not seen any have we not seen any active players in this? Oh, here's an active player. All right. I played collegiate football at the University of Alabama. Drafted 11th overall by the Dolphins, which is not this helmet, though. Different helmet. Drafted 11th overall by the Dolphins in the 2018 NFL Draft. Two-time college football champion, two-time consensus All-American, Jim Thorpe Award winner, a Pro Bowler, first-team All-Pro. He is a free safety, 6'1", 207. Uh, thus far in my career, 342 total tackles, four forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries, 34 pass deflections, 13 interceptions, four defensive touchdowns. He's pretty good. How did they, why did they trade him? Yeah, Kevin and Dangerous got it, William. Yeah, Minka Fitzpatrick for the Steelers. There he is. I don't remember the, the context in which he was he was traded. Oh, that's a cool yellow ink autograph right there. Was he was he was he due for a big contract extension or something like that? So that'll be for the Steelers, that's for James. There you go. Yeah, Adam had to think back to the draft. I would not be able to do that. All those all those drafts just like melt in together. So I can't figure it out. There you go, James. Nice one for the Steelers. Two more to go. All right, we've got a nine-time, who am I? A nine-time first-team All-Pro, a nine-time Pro Bowl selectee. I was a Super Bowl XII-12 champion and a co-MVP, part of the NFL's 1980s All-Decade Team, 100th Anniversary All-Time Team, a Lombardi Award winner, part of the Ring of Honor, College Football Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer. Who am I? Defensive tackle, linebacker from Pittsburgh, 
went to Maryland, drafted with the second overall pick in 1975. Career 52 sacks and an interception. Yeah, I think Mark and Adam got it. Randy White. A lot, lot, a lot on that game show card. Played for one team his entire career. Was that the only... Adam's saying that's the only Super Bowl with two MVPs. Who was the, who was the other MVP? Oh, yeah, Harvey Martin. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, it was Harvey Martin and Randy White. Your co-MVPs. And that's for Frank and the Dallas Cowboys. All right, one more to go, and then we'll do the randomizers. Thanks, everybody, and we'll do a little recap at the end. We're going to close out with another old-school guy here. 1997 first-round draft pick for this team. And I retired as the all-time leading tight end receiver and fourth among all receivers. Caught a pass in 150 consecutive games, two-time Super Bowl champ, three-time Pro Bowler, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer in uh, 1999. What else? Out of Alabama? Tony Gonzalez was not drafted in 1979. And I was an executive for this team for a long time. And Sharp not drafted in 1979 in the first round. 6'2", 232, I'm assuming in my playing days. Out of Alabama. There you go. Pets got it. Ozzie Newsom. We're going that classic Browns color there. Cleveland, this is for you. Did I say 97? Maybe I'm dyslexic. I don't know. Roll back the tape. Did I say 97? Maybe I did. Sorry. Then that's on me. That would be Bernard. You, did you roll back the tape? I definitely said 97. All right, that's on me. Sorry. That is on me. My apologies. That won't be on the on the game show audition tape. I'll take that off. All right, there you go. There you go, gang. Nice break. Nice job. Let's do some randomizers. <laughs> if everyone got a wax party, that would that would kill the promo tonight. All right, so let's go back to the list. So we're going to have, what should we do here? You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to randomize one list. Top two, we'll get the wax party spot. Third name, we'll get the Charlie Ward mini helmet. And the fourth name, we'll get the, uh, the, uh, the Princeton guy. Let's roll it, randomize it, one and a three, four times. One, 
two, three, and fourth and final time. So after four times, big thanks everybody for giving this a go. Fourth name down, Brian Frank, you're going to get the uh, that Princeton dude. Bernard, you're going to get the Charlie Ward. And the top two, Wax Party invites. You're going to win some boxes. That's Matt Buckler and Franklin. Congrats to you two. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. A pretty solid mixer, too, I thought. So let's do a uh, recap. Got the Kareem Hunt, Patrick Queen, Edward DeLaire, Joe Burrow rated rookie. There's that Justin Fields that Kurt was just talking about. There it is again. Congrats. A couple Boom Herons. This was from the from that sage, and we ended up with a nice, where'd it go? Ended up with a nice, wait for it, Trevor Lawrence autograph. And there you go, gang. And of course, you just saw the helmets recently. Um, and that's that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and this was Jaspie's 27 box of playoffs, football mixer. Playoffs? Is that trying to win a game? Um, I'll see you next time for the next mixer. Bye-bye.